Hey guys, what's going on? Jay the Reporter coming at you once again. Now, a little bit of my breaking news in. Madden just did an update and they added Colin Kaepernick to the game. Now, a lot of people probably going to be upset about his addition to the game. I'm thinking he should have been in the last couple of years just for the simple fact that technically speaking, he is a free agent. But the one thing that has me a little bit on the, are you really serious with this side? Is his overall rating. All right. His overall rating going into this year is an 81. That's very, very nice of them to give him an 81 overall rating. But it's a confusing rating to give. Now, the last year he was in Madden as an active NFL player was Madden 17. He was a 74 overall. And I got people saying, well, well think about it, man. He, he put on a, a decent show. He still has what they call elite arm talent and okay cool if you want to say that that's fine but you're still talking four years of absence from the nfl so the only player i could think of like hmm let's see who was a elite quarterback who could scramble throw on the run very strong arm who comes to mind people michael vick okay cool so michael vick he went from his he had a two-year period where he was he wasn't in Madden. It was a two-year period during the whole dogfighting thing. So he got removed from Madden and then placed back in when he signed with the Eagles. So when he signed back with the Eagles, Vic's overall rating when he came back in was a 73. So he went from an 89 to a 73. That's two years absence, which makes sense. You have nothing to go off of. You haven't seen him perform. The following year they see him perform, the rating got a serious boost. Then he was back into the mid-80s. Now, speaking of the overall rating, Colin Kaepernick's being in the 81. Here are players who are an 81 or lower than him. So basically what Madden is saying here is that these guys are either equal to or less than the skill level of a guy we haven't seen take a snap in four seasons. Big Ben, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jameis Winston, and Cam Newton. I don't know about you guys, but even off of an injury riddle season, I still have Cam Newton is better than him. Now, had they brought Colin Kaepernick in with a more understandable overall rating, you may not be getting the backlash you're getting. Now, is it a favorable thing? Is it Madden's way of saying, hey, I'm sorry? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you this. I personally like the move to put him in the game because technically he is a free agent. But what I don't like is is the overall pandering to whoever they think they need to appease to get his man an overall rating of 81, but we have nothing to base this off of. This comes with no base whatsoever. I mean, if you want to put him back in the game, put him back in the game, at least with the overall rating, if you want to be nice, <laughs> just with the overall rating he left with, give him a 74 overall, because there's no way you're going to tell me that with a year, without four years of seeing anything this man can do, magically he's seven overall points better. And for people who don't understand the difference between a 74 and an 81, the 74 rating typically means that his awareness is probably lower, throwing power, or accuracy, something's off. There's no way you're going to say and tell me that we haven't seen him throw a pass for four years, but all of a sudden he's a better quarterback. Doesn't make any sense. But guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Jada Reporter, signing out. Peace.